For the headlines, weather forecast, Typhoon Julian or Krathon intensifies, center located south-southeast of Basco, Batanes, with maximum winds. Local news, filing for 2025 local election candidates to start in March, says Comelec. Dialysis patient arrested for involvement in illegal drugs. Student killed in drug racing accident on Barangay Gusa Highway. Oka to Clarex, the mismanagement must come to an end. National News, LTO and PNP forged data sharing agreement to track vehicles involved in crimes. International News, 126 dead in Nepal floods following relentless monsoon rains. Entertainment. Blackpink's Lisa set to release new song Moonlit Floor in October. Sports More Than Hoops Mike Phillips dedicates performance to late LaSalle Dormitory Guard. International Feature Over 60 dead from Storm Helen as rescue and cleanup efforts intensify. National Feature Rap Alleged Chinese spy in Thai jail Recognize suspicion that Alice Go is a Beijing asset. Trivia Who invented the first car and when was it created? If you find this segment informative, please click the thumbs up button and subscribe to stay updated with our latest news and share this broadcast to your friends and family. Your support helps us keep you informed. Help us get our first 10,000 subscribers. Your engagement matters. Liking, sharing, and subscribing to our content not only helps more people discover the important stories we bring you, but also supports our team's hard work. It boosts our visibility in the algorithm, making it easier for others to find ways to stay informed. Plus, it helps us generate more resources to continue delivering the news you rely on. Thank you for being part of our community. Good morning, Philippines. Magandang umaga, Luzon. Nagmayo Arla, Visayas, Mindanao. Today is Wednesday, October 2, 2024. I am Athalia P. Saniel. Local News Filing for 2025 local election candidates to start in March, says Comelec. The Commission on Elections Region 10 has clarified that they are currently una unable to take legal action against individuals who have expressed their intentions to run in the 2025 elections, even if these individuals are already engaging in premature campaigning. The clarification comes in response to concerns about potential candidates who may be trying to gain early exposure and public favor ahead of the official campaign period. This limitation stems from a Supreme Court ruling, which clearly states that Comelec's jurisdiction over such actions only begins during the designated election period. As such, any activities, even if they appear to be early campaigning, are not yet under Comelec's control until the candidates have officially filed their certificates of candidacy and the election period formally begins. The ruling emphasizes that only during this period can the election body issue reprimands or take legal measures against candidates who violate campaign rules. Comelec Region 10 Director Attorney Renato Magbutay further explained that the process of filing certificates of candidacy 
does not guarantee that an individual will qualify to run for office. There is still a rigorous screening process that ensures all candidates meet the necessary qualifications to be eligible for the elections. This is to prevent disqualified or unqualified individuals from moving forward in the race. Mabutai also highlighted that while some candidates may be eager to start campaigning early, they should be mindful of the rules and regulations that will apply once the official election period starts. Lealysis patient arrested for involvement in illegal drugs. A 41-year-old father, a resident of Poruk 7, Dagumbaan, Maramag, Bukinon, is now facing serious legal troubles after being arrested in connection with illegal drug activities. This suspect is known as Felmar, who is also a dialysis patient, was apprehended during an anti-drug bypass operation conducted by the Maramag Police Station under Police Region Regional Office 10. Authorities had been monitoring the suspect for some time due to intelligence reports like linking him to drug sales. During the operation, undercover officers posed a buyer's and successfully completed a transaction with the suspect, leading to his arrest. The police confiscated 45 grams of suspected shabu, valued at 306,000 pesos, along with several thousand pesos in March by bus money. PRO 10 spokesperson Major Joan Navarro stated that the suspect admitted to selling drugs to cover his dialysis treatment costs, which had placed him under financial strain. However, Navarro stressed that while his medical situation is unfortunate, it does not excuse his involvement in illegal activities. The suspect now faces charges under the Comprehensive Dangerous Drugs Act 2002, with penalties ranging from long-term imprisonment to life sentences, depending on the severity of the offense. Investigation is ongoing to determine if Filmar was part of a larger drug network. Student killed in drug racing accident on Barangay Gusa Highway A motorcycle rider has died after colliding with a taxi on CM Recto Gusa National Highway in the city. The victim has been identified as Dennis Kenth Sabilina, a 21-year-old college student known for his passion for motorsports. According to the taxi driver, he was startled when the rear part of his vehicle suddenly exploded, which may have resulted from the impact of the collision. Preliminary investigations reveal that the motorcycle rider was allegedly participating in drag racing at the time of the incident. Eyewitnesses reported seeing the motorcycle speeding and weaving through traffic before the collision occurred, suggesting that the rider was attempting to evade the taxi. Authorities are conducting further investigations to gather more details about the circumstances leading up to the incident. The local police have urged anyone with information about the drug racing activities in the area to come forward to help with the investigation. This tragic event raises concerns about the safety of road users and the dangers of illegal street racing, prompting calls for stricter enforcement of traffic laws in the area. Oka to Clarex, the mismanagement must come to an end. The ongoing mismanagement of city government affairs under incumbent city mayor Rolando Clarex Uy must be addressed according to former city mayor Oscar Oka Moreno. This statement follows Uy's criticism of Moreno during the launch of the one Cagayan Kauban ng Katawhan collision yesterday. Moreno expressed regret that he did not recognize Clarex's true character sooner, which he believes could have helped prevent further damage to the city's governance. The two had been political allies for 12 years, collaborating on various projects. However, their relationship soared unexpectedly in 2022, leading to political tensions. In response to Uy's accusations that Moreno left unresolved issues during his tenure, Moreno countered that many of these claims were exaggerated or mispresented. 
Political analysts anticipate a potential showdown between Moreno and Uy in the upcoming mayoral race if both submit their certificates of candidacy to the Comelec this week. As the political rivalry intensifies, voters in Cagayan de Oro will have consider the leadership styles and accomplishments of both candidates in the 2025 elections. Weather forecast, Typhoon Julian or Kraton intensifies. Center located southeast of Basco Batanes with maximum winds. The center of Typhoon Julian was estimated to be located just south southeast of Basco Batanes based on all available data. The storm is carrying strong sustained winds near its center with even stronger gusts. Moving westward, it poses a potential threat to the local communities of Batanes, where precautionary measures are being taken to mitigate the effects of heavy rains and strong winds. Authorities have issued weather advisories and warnings, urging residents to secure their homes and prepare for possible evacuations in vulnerable areas. Coastal communities are particularly at risk of storm surges which could lead to flooding and erosion. Fisher folk are advised to refrain from venturing out to sea until conditions improve. Emergency services are on high alert, ready to respond to any incidents, while schools and public facilities are being utilized as evacuation centers if needed. Meteorologists continue to monitor the storm's trajectory closely providing regular updates to ensure the safety of all residents in the affected regions. In addition, the local government has coordinated with national agencies to ensure that relief supplies are pre-positioned should the storm result in significant damage. The community is being reminded to stay informed through official channels and to avoid spreading unverified information during the critical time. National News LTO and PNP forged data sharing agreement to track vehicles involved in crimes. Elements of the Philippine National Police Highway Patrol Group will soon have instant access to the Land Transportation Office database to check if a vehicle has been used in a crime, the LTO chief said Monday. LTO chief ASEC Vigor Mendoza II stated that the data sharing agreement with the PNP is designed to eliminate the current system where police must request information from the LTO. Collaboration will be faster. There's no longer a need to go through a request process. They will automatically have access to the data. He said in a Teleradio Servicio interview, adding that this project should have been accomplished years ago. This new this new initiative aims to enhance the efficiency and effectiveness of law enforcement agencies in tracking stolen vehicles and identifying those involved in criminal activities. By having immediate access to vital information, the PNP can respond more quickly to incidents and potentially prevent further crimes. Mendoza emphasized that this collaboration is crucial for public safety as it allows for a more streamlined process in addressing vehicle-related offenses. Furthermore, the data sharing agreement is, ex is expected to facilitate better coordination between various government agencies involved in a, in a traffic management crime prevention. <music> International News 126 dead in Nepal floods following relentless monsoon rains. On Sunday, residents of Nepal's flood stricken 
Capital returned to their mud-covered homes to assess the damage from the catastrophic floods that have claimed at least 126 lives across the Himalaya nation. Rain-related floods and landslides are frequent in South Asia during the monsoon season from June to September. However, experts warn that the climate change is exacerbating their occurrence and intensity, leading to more severe weather patterns un and unpredictable rainfall. This past weekend, entire neighborhoods in Kathmandu were submerged with flash floods reported in the rivers flowing through the city. Extensive damage was also inflicted on highways linking the capital to other parts of Nepal, disrupting transportation and supplies. In response to the disaster, the government has mobilized rescue operations to assist affected families, deploying search and rescue teams along with the medical personnel to treat the injured. Local and international organizations are working together to provide relief including food, clean water, and shelter to those displaced by flood. Entertainment Blackpink's Lisa said to release new song Moonlit Floor in October. Thai superstar Lisa continues her hot streak as her agency announced on Sunday that the Blackpink member will unveil a new song in early October, marking her latest release in a series of successful projects this year. On X, Aloud confirmed that a 27-year-old artist will drop the song Moonlit Floor at 8 p.m. Eastern Time on October 3. This new track follows her previous hits and collaborations, which have garnered immense popularity and critical acclaim. Lisa's recent projects have highlighted her versatility as an artist, showcasing her skills not only as performer but also as a songwriter and dancer. Fans are eagerly anticipating Moonlit Floor, which is expected to showcase her unique style and sound. The announcement has sparked excitement among her fan base, known as Blinks, who have been actively supporting her solo in divorce. As Lisa prepares to release new, new music, there is speculation about potential upcoming performances and music videos that may accompany the release. Sports More than hoops, Mike Phillips dedicates performance to late LaSalle Dormitory Guard. Mike Phillips was a formidable presence in the La Salle University's victory over the University of Santo Tomas on Sunday. The 6'8 senior contributed significantly to the Green Archers' 88-67 win, recording 12 points, 18 rebounds, 2 assists, and a block. Phillips' energy and determination were instrumental in DLSU, dominating the boards, out-rebounding UST 56-29. With this win, LaSalle improved to 5-1 in, in the team's standings, putting them in a strong position as they aim for the top playoff seat. For the Filipino-American Taft Tower, this victory represented more than just a step toward their goal of securing a second consecutive UAAP Mass Basketball crown. It also showcased the team's resilience and unity. Phillips emphasized the importance of teamwork and achieving their objectives, highlighting how each player's contributions were vital to their success. Coach Derek Pumaren praised his team's defensive efforts, noting that their ability to force turnovers and create fast-break opportunities was key to their victory. As the season progresses, the Green Archers are focused on maintaining their momentum and striving for excellence in their upcoming games. They are gearing up for a crucial match-up against their arch-rivals, the Ateneo Blue Eagles, which is expected to be a pivotal point in their campaign. International Feature 
Over 60 dead from Storm Helen as rescue and cleanup efforts intensify. Rescuers face significant challenges on Saturday as they navigate the washed out bridges and debris covered roads while searching for survivors of the catastrophic Storm Helen, which has claimed at least 63 lives across five states and led to widespread power outages. Storm Helen made landfall in Florida on Thursday as a Category 4 hurricane pushing north northward and gradually weakening. However, it left behind a trail of destruction, including uprooted trees, downed power lines, and homes devastated by mudslides. In response to the disaster, federal emergencies were declared in six states, Alabama, Florida, Georgia, North Carolina, South Carolina, and Tennessee with over 800 personnel from the Federal Emergency Management Agency deployed to assist in recovery efforts. Additionally, local authorities are coordinating with volunteers and non-profit organizations to provide shelter and supplies to those affected. Emergency responders are also focused on restoring power and clearing roads to facilitate further rescue operations. National feature Rap Alleged Chinese spy in Thai jail Reignites suspicion that Alice Go is a Beijing asset An Al Jazeera documentary has sparked inquiries within the House of Representatives and reignited speculation that Alice Go, the former mayor of Bamban Tarlac, who has been dismissed and faces numerous charges related to Philippine offshore gaming operators, may not only be a Chinese national but also a potential spy for Chinese Ministry of State Security. The East 101 documentary focusing on the imprisoned tycoon Shi Xinjiang, who is currently facing deportation to China and claims to have been a former spy for the MSS, was presented at the House Quad Committee hearing on Friday. This screening prompted lawmakers to formulate new questions, leading to a visibly agitated response from Go. Go's situation has drawn significant attention, raising concerns about national security and foreign influence in local governance. Lawmakers are now calling for a through investigation into her connections and the allegations of espionage, emphasizing the need for greater scrutiny for foreign nationals involved in Philippine politics. <music> Trivia Who invented the first car and when was it created? The widely recognized inventor of the first car is Karl Benz from Germany, a fact of often emphasized by employees of Mercedes-Benz the company named after him. Visiting the Mercedes-Benz Museum in Stuttgart evokes admiration and surprise when witnessing the world's first car up close. While the term horseless carriage was commonly used at the time, Benz vehicle patented in 1886 is credited as the first car ever made, despite earlier road vehicles existing. What sets Carl Benz apart is that his invention, the Benz patent motor wagon, is considered the first automobile designed to be powered by an internal combustion engine. Unlike other vehicles that were adaptations of carriages with stream engines, Benz's car was built from the ground up with a gasoline engine, making it practical and self-propelled. The patent he received in 1886 secured his place in automotive history. His wife, Bertha Benz, sol solidified its legacy by taking the car on 66-mile journey from Mannheim to Forzem in 1888, demonstrating its reliability and drawing significant public attention. Benz's vehicle laid the foundation for the modern automobile industry and although 
other inventors contributed to automotive development. His innovations in engineering and design established him as a pioneer of the first true automobile, marking the birth of an industry that transformed transportation. And that was the information we got from here and abroad. Keep listening and watching. Thank you very much for tuning in. If you find this segment informative, please click the thumbs up button and subscribe to stay updated with our latest news and share this broadcast to your friends and family. Your support helps us keep you informed. Help us get our first 10,000 subscribers. Your engagement matters. Liking, sharing, and subscribing to our content not only helps more people discover the important stories we bring you, but also supports our team's hard work. It boosts our visibility in the algorithm, making it easier for others to find ways to stay informed. Plus, it helps us generate more resources to continue delivering the news you rely on. Thank you for being part of our community.